Hi right, guys, welcome back. This is the third devlog of me making my Mars Colony survival game on Scratch. And we're back in it. I thought I was going to leave the project alone, but to be honest, we've got a good game coming along here, so we might as well just keep on working on it. So last time we added multiple new things, most notably the, uh, the dust storm, of course, it comes along and destroys all your buildings and things like that. So today I'm going to be adding some of your suggestions. So one of the complaints I got was that if you're not on PC, you literally can't play it. Because you need to press the button P to start placing rooms, which obviously you can't do if you haven't got a keyboard. Now that was a real easy fix. All I had to do was add this little button. So now when you press it, it turns you into building mode. Now there was this unemployment bug where the amount of unemployed people would go into minus one. Meaning there was one extra person where there shouldn't have been. But I've fixed that now by improving this a little bit because before it wasn't detecting properly how many unemployed people there were. So now it'll only change the amount of unemployed people if the unemployed amount is bigger than 0 0.9, which is obviously just below one, so it'll never go below zero. So we can mark that one off, and now we're gonna get onto the more exciting parts. So now we're gonna add a quarry and a whole material system because because right now you can just kind of build whatever you like and there's no like consequence for how much you build, apart from how many resources it drains. So I think first I'm gonna design another little tile and a little animation for it, and then I'm gonna start writing the code. So I just finished designing the quarry, and to be honest, I'm gonna have to redesign this at some point because I mean, just look at it. But for now, it'll do. So we got this little animation. We got a little red blinking light for the drill. And then obviously the drill bit kind of changes a little bit just to make it look like it's drilling. So now we got to do the same process as adding the generator that we did last time. We just got to copy over all the code and then change a bunch of variables so we can add a bunch of materials. So I'm back and it's been a little while because oh my god I realised I had made a massive mistake. Now the thing with the dust storm was that when it went through it would obviously destroy a bunch of buildings but when it destroyed those buildings it wouldn't actually change any of the variables. Because even though it still deleted the tiles, the tiles wasn't the thing actually doing the background work and changing the variables. So I've spent however long creating this absolute behemoth. This is all the code just for the dust storm. But now we have it all running perfectly. It takes away from all the different variables that it needs to. So now it will actually impact the game when a dust cloud comes in and it actually destroys progress. But now I've managed to add materials and a quarry. So as you can see, we have our little quarry working now and our materials will slowly increase. You only start off with 20 materials instead of the 50 that you get for food and power. But I've been playing around with it, just testing things, and to be honest, it's a lot better. It, there's a lot more balancing, and you really have to think about what you're adding next to try and survive. But yeah, hopefully, see, look, it'll destroy stuff. And now all the variables. Okay, I'm going to try and fix this because this keeps on happening. The power workers keep on getting bigger than the power capacity, which doesn't make sense. But that, that's a bug I've been trying to scan through for ages now, and I genuinely can't work it out. There's just so much stuff to go through. But hey, I'll, I'll, I'll try and sort it. I, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So it's been a couple days. I managed to fix that bug I previously mentioned, or at least I hope I have, but throughout testing the problem didn't seem to come up again. Now there are these two last things I want to add. So those two things are a main menu and a back to menu button because I just feel like a game always feels a lot more complete if you don't have to press the green flag button to keep on restarting it. It just makes it a lot better quality. So I think I'm going to start designing a main menu and then adding that back to menu button as well. So whilst I was adding the menu, which is this the menu by the way, has a nice little start button, but whilst I was doing it, I accidentally put this background image over the original background for the actual game. So now when we press start, there's nothing here, so I'm gonna have to fix that again. But we got the main menu working, then we're just gonna have to add that uh, back button, and then we should be all good. So it's all set up, it's all done, we got a nice little starting menu here. As you can see, we've done a little fancy start button. But we can press start, gives us all our resources. I changed the amount of materials you get from 20 to 25 just to make it better. So if I just quickly kill off this colony, 
we'll be able to see the death menu and the new back to menu button. But as you can see, it's the same end screen as before. But now if you press back to menu, you go back to menu. Now when we press start again, it resets everything so you can just keep on going. So I think we've pretty much finished here. I've done everything that I really wanted to with the game. And I'm pretty satisfied with it. So if you want to play the game, I'll have it either in the comments section or the description. But don't go just yet, because i got a quick announcement to make. That's right, I'm hosting a Scratch Game Jam. The jam is going to be from Friday, March the 22nd to Monday the 25th. So you have the whole weekend to make a game using Scratch to submit to the jam. The winners get a video dedicated to them where I'll be playing and showing off their games. There will be a theme which I will be announcing on the 22nd, so follow the link in the comments and let's get jamming.